coverage you can count on. This is CBS 47 Action News at 5.30. Bullying. It has been a hot topic lately with three local girls coming out as victims. Tonight, Action News takes a closer look at the problem, what it is, and how it can be stopped. Leslie Corsi is live on the North Bank with details all new at 5.30. And Leslie, sadly, there's no shortage of victims out there. Absolutely. So many people have stories. This problem is real and parents say preventable. Three local girls, three painful stories. I didn't even know it was coming. Stories that have once again put bullying in the spotlight. I got bullied to the point where I could not handle it anymore. Diana Frisky says her 18-year-old daughter was a victim too. Attacked with words, not fists. But she says it was just as damaging. She still has a little anxiety over it. She says tension on the school campus eventually led to an off-campus incident. And when she went to school administrators, she says she was told, I can't. Can't do anything. A bully is anyone who threatens or harms another person repeatedly um, and usually uh, for a sense of power and control. UNF psychologist Dr. Lauren Yerkes says she often sees college students still reeling from the effects of high school and middle school bullying. I find that it is often a cause or a trigger for their depression or anxiety or substance use. She says the problem is real, the effects lasting, and she believes solving the problem is everyone's responsibility, parents, teachers, society as a whole. Bullying is becoming so prevalent and it has such an effect on not just our, our children and our students, um, but on our culture. Frisky also believes in a team approach to prevention. If they let it go like it has been going, they're going to get what exactly what's going on right now, an epidemic of bullying. It's all over. And she believes the prevention needs to start early, so no other child is a victim. Now, schools have specific policies for bullying, specific definitions, and bona fide cases are reported and tracked by the state. Punishment can include suspension, expulsion, or sometimes even counseling. Reporting live on the North Bank, Leslie Corsi, CBS 47 Action News. And we have made it easy for you to view the policies on bullying for schools in Duval County. Just go to our website, actionnewsjacks.com.